sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, covering the Chicago White Sox of the imagined 2020 season the way it might have been. And uh, we are looking at the current standings in Major League Baseball, and you can see the uh, White Sox have slipped some. They are 37 and 31 and in third place behind Minnesota, Minnesota, which is believable, and Kansas City, excuse me, <clears throat> and Kansas City, which is not. So, and then Cleveland is a half game behind the White Sox. No, the, Cleveland is actually tied with us, technically. No, they are. They're a game behind. They're a game behind. So, so we're in third, and uh, manager Bob Zolke is going to have to figure out a way to get us out of that and get us back up into at least the top two in the division. Um, however, uh, even that might not be enough because you've got Toronto with a better record and you have the Yankees also with a better record. So we'll have to see what happens. Um, but let's get to today's game. And uh, today we are playing Cleveland. So this is a good opportunity to keep the Indians behind us on uh, this June 11th day. And uh, we'll have, uh, they're, they're going to have Mike Clevenger going up against, oh, wait a minute, no, that's San Diego. They're going to have Zach Playsack going up against Gio. Gio Gonzalez. The lineup for the Indians will be um, the Shields in center, Naylor at DH, Ramirez at third, Reyes and in left, Santana at first, Lindor at short, Hernandez at second, Perez at catcher, and Luplo in right. For Bob Zolke's White Sox, he'll have Madrigal leading off and playing second base, Moncada at third, Abreu at first, Jimenez in left, Encarnacion at DH, Grandal at catcher, Robert in center, Mazzara in right, and Anderson at shortstop. And so we will get on with the game. <laughs> Myself over, and with that, we will take the we will get to the first pitch against the Lino Shields leading off for Cleveland. And he strikes out. Geo sends him packing. And that brings up Josh Naylor. And Josh Naylor is going to ground out to Madrigal for the second out in the first. And that brings up Jose Ramirez. Always a stick in the side of the White Sox. And he nearly was there. The ball is way back to the wall, but Jimenez should handle that one. And he does. And there are no runs for the Indians. We go to the bottom of the first with Madrigal leading off against Zach Plasak. 
And he rips a single between short and third. That brings up Moncada. Moncada strikes out. So he goes down on strikes, and that brings up Abreu, the first baseman. He's going to hit it at second base. That's Hernandez. He's a good fielder, and he makes the double play. And so the first inning is in the books. And we go to the top of the second with Framil Ramirez. And he walks. Gio loses him. He goes to first. That brings up Carlos Santana. And he goes down on strikes. That's the second strikeout, I believe, for... Uh, Geo. And that brings up Francisco Lindor. And he's going to fly out to left. There's two down. Uh, that will bring up Cesar Hernandez, their slick fielding second baseman. But he grounds out to Moncada, and the Indians are out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the second. Eloy is up. And he strikes out. He goes down on strikes. And that brings up Encarnacion. And he goes down on strikes, too. So first two are struck out by Playsack, and that brings... So that brings Grandall up, and he... It's a deep fly ball to the Shields in center. Not even really that deep. Just an out. So Gio goes back out to the mound, top of the third. And he strikes out the light hitting Roberto Perez. Great catcher, rocket arm, not much of a hitter. Jordan Luplo comes up. And he's going to hit a single right back through the box. That brings up the Shields. And Shields hits it back at Gonzalez. And he makes the double play, and they're out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the third. Lewis Robert up. And he goes down on strikes. A lot of strikeouts today. A lot of, a lot of batters missing pitches. Nomar Mazzara comes up to the plate. And he hits a pop foul, and uh, it's played by the catcher, Roberto Perez. And that brings up Timmy Anderson, T.A. And T.A. is going to hit a liner right at Lindor, and he's out. So we go to the top of the fourth in a scoreless game. Geo pitching well here. Naylor lines out. That brings up Jose Ramirez. He hits a grounder to short, and Anderson will play it. And there's two down, and Reyes at the plate. And Reyes is going to single right up the middle. So now the Indians have a man aboard with two down, and Santana, who is always a home run threat at the plate, he hits the ball right back up the middle for a single, and now the Indians have something going with two down. They have two runners on and Lindor at the plate. And he's going to pop out, it looks like, to Madrigal. So, no runs there, although they did have a slight threat. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Madrigal up. And Madrigal is going to hit a single. So he's aboard. Moncada at the plate. And he flies out to left. So there's one down with Madrigal aboard at first. Abreu up. And Abreu lines out to third base. So there's two down very quickly. And Jimenez up at the plate. And he is retired by the catcher. So, Gio back out there, pitching to Cesar Hernandez. That's a fly ball to the left. Jimenez is on it. And he makes the play. 
Perez up. And Perez singles right back through the box. So the Indians have a man aboard with one out. And loop low up. And Geo strikes him out. Two down. And that brings up the Shields. And Geo pitching really great here today. And he strikes out the Shields. He is on top of his game. The uh, White Sox and uh, manager Bob Zolke really wanted to see that. And so Encarnacion comes up. And he hits the ball deep. He's going shopping at the gap. And that's going to be a double. Stand-up double for Encarnacion. And Grandall up. But he's going to line out to Luplo. So there's one down. And that brings up Lewis Robert. And Lewis Robert, is he gets him on strikes. Two down with a man at second. They don't want to leave him there. They walk Mazzara, though, to pitch to Anderson. I don't know why they did that. Then they really should not have done that. Because he gets a hold of one. Looks like it's going to be gone. And it is. Three run for a home run. And considering how Geo is pitching, that might be an insurmountable lead with Madrigal coming up to the plate. And he's singled between short and third, so he's aboard. And Moncada's up. But Moncada strikes out. So we will go to the top of the sixth now, but the White Sox have a 3 nothing lead. And Naylor at the plate. And Naylor gets a hold of one, hits it to right. That's going to be gone. So that's a run for the Indians, and Ramirez is up. And he hits a fly ball to Mazzara. So Mazzara makes the play on that. There's one down. And this is a Reyes. And Reyes is... That looks like a foul ball. And Reyes hits a single between short and third. So that brings up Santana. And now all of a sudden they're hitting Geo bad here. They've got runners at first and second with only one out and Francisco Lindor up at the plate. But he hits the ball at Moncada. Moncada could turn the double play, and he does. So the Indians got a run, but we go to the bottom of the sixth, and we've got um, Abreu up at the plate. He strikes out. Jimenez up. And Jimenez hits it deep, and we're going to get that one run back that we just gave up the previous inning. Home, home for Eloy. And Encarnacion up at the plate, and they walk him. They lose Encarnacion. One out. Man at first. Grandall up. And Grandall is going to pop to Santana. So there's two down for the White Sox. And Lewis Robert at the plate. And he strikes out. And there's going to be some changes for the White Sox. It looks like. So, Geo is still out there, but now they've got, um, hold on. So Geo is still out on the mound, but they've got Dyson and Wright 
for Mazzara, and they've got Engel in left for Jimenez. So Zolke shoring up the defense and hoping that this is, uh, he's signaling that he thinks this might be enough runs. And there is an out there. Hernandez is out, one down. That brings up Roberto Perez. And Roberto Perez singled between short and third. That brings up Jordan Luplo. And he's going to line out to Engel. So there's two down. Man at first for the Indians. And the shield's up. And the shield is going to ground out to Anderson at short. So Playsack is still out there, and now he'll face Gerard Dyson, who came on for defense, but he hits the ball up the middle, and he's got some speed, folks. Tim Anderson up behind him, and that's going to be an out to the catcher. And Anderson is now at first base. It's a fielder's choice, and Madrigal, who's 3-for-3 three three today, is up at the plate. But he's going to line out hard to Ramirez, and there's two down with Moncada up. And a man at first, and he strikes out. And there's going to be a pitching change for the White Sox. Cody Hoyer is in for the White Sox to pitch to Josh Naylor. And he gets a ground ball to third base. Brings up Jose Ramirez. Ramirez hits it on the ground to Anderson at short. And he makes the play out by a step. And that brings up Reyes, two down. And he grounds out to Anderson. So, no runs come across for Cleveland in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Abreu is at the plate. And he greets the new pitcher, um, Rick Whitgren. Is that what? Yeah. With a home run. So, the White Sox are really landed on now. Adam Engel, though, strikes out, so there's one down. White Sox ahead 5-1, and Encarnacion up. And he's out. So there's two down with Grandall at the plate. And he gets a ground ball to shortstop, and that's it. We go to the top of the ninth. Hoyer is still out there. And he induces a ground ball to Tim Anderson. That brings up Francisco Lindor. With one down, and he is going to fly out to Robert. Robert will make that one. And that brings up Cesar Hernandez. And he flies out to Robert. And that's the ball game with the White Sox winning 5-1 and staying ahead of the Cleveland Indians 
We'll get the box score for you here. There's what the batters did. The Madrigal, an impressive three for four. Uh, Anderson, one for three with a homer and three RBIs. And Gonzalez was on top of his game. Seven innings pitched, eight hits allowed. Only one walk and only one earned run. And, of course, Hoyer was great in relief, as he has been all season long, with his 059 earned run average. So that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, signing off from the White Sox game.